Welcome back. We're going to start diving into some of the daily tasks that we do if we're working at a desk, a computer station, or in the office. First and foremost, I want to go through writing. Now, it's not something we do as often as we used to, but it still plays a little bit of a role in our lives. Some do it obviously more than others. Now, typically when we write, we lean forward, we kind of move our body forward over our hips, and we start writing. Now, if I look at myself in this position, there's a few things that are wrong, or at least that put me in fight or flight mode, where it's not really warranted. First, my chest is leading my movement. My back is really straight and flat. The muscles are kicked in big time. And my shoulder is up a little bit higher than it should be. All of those things put my body in fight or flight mode and are unnecessary. If instead, I let myself sit all the way back, let my tailbone curl underneath me. If I have a back to the chair, which I really do prefer, I let myself let go all the way back into that chair back. Now, my front of my rib cage, it can drop down, my belly comes out, and as my rib cage drops down, I can feel my shoulder dropping down with it. There is no need to use these upper trap muscles to write. My fingers can handle it just fine. Some other things I warn people about is gripping the pen really tightly. A lot of people will have spasms or cramping in their hand, and it's often because they're gripping so hard or they haven't written for a long time and then all of a sudden they try to write really fast and write really long. And the muscles in your forearm control your fingers. So if we think about those muscles letting go, as well as some hand, muscles in the hand that control the fingers, if we think about both of those areas let go and we have our shoulder down and we initiate the movement of writing through our hand, we can do it in a much more calm and relaxed manner. There's no need to kick in our fight or flight nervous system just for the simple act of writing. But we often get carried away and we're not always thinking about our body when we're really involved in writing something down, whether filling out a check or writing in a journal or what have you. We often don't think about the importance of staying calm and relaxed in this position. It is very valuable for your neck your shoulders, your back, your shoulder blade area, and even your chest and your low back to stay in a relaxed position if you're writing. It changes the whole entire experience and you don't feel sore, tight, achy after whatever you're writing. It's quite powerful. Sometimes you can even incorporate some breathing. So if you blow out and you write at the same time, you can see how you can move your hand your elbow goes with it, your forearm goes with it, but you're not lifting your shoulder or moving your body into it. These are very important skills. If you have kids, please look at your kids, look at your teenagers, see how they're writing because you'll often catch things now when they're young. So that way you don't have to deal with this later or they don't have to deal with it later when a lot of stresses play into the role and there's this neuroprotective guarding that's hard to let go later in life. If you need help with this or you need me to look at you writing, please reach out to me, amy at paberinstitute.com. I'd love to help you, teach you how some of your daily habits can contribute to some of the stress, pressure, and tension or pain that you're having in your life. I hope this was helpful. Have a great week. We'll see you again next week. Bye guys.